Returning tomorrow is the annual Warrior Beach Retreat Parade, a way for the community to come out and show their support for wounded veterans. News Scene's Ethan Logue is live in Panama City Beach telling us more about this special event. Good morning, Ethan. Good morning, guys, and hey, there's not really a lot of events and parades more meaningful than the one going on tomorrow again. Like you mentioned, it's the annual Warrior Beach Retreat. It starts off here in Panama City Beach at 4 p.m. tomorrow, and I'm joined by a wide variety of people. I have Angie and Greg Hardy to my left, two veterans, which, of course, thank you for your service. And to my right, I have Linda and Jonathan Cope. So, I guess, Linda, I'll start with you. Again, can you kind of touch on the series of events going on tomorrow during the parade? Well, they leave the Embassy Suites at 4 p.m. and go to Living Word Church. The ceremony there is at 7 p.m., free and open to the public, with Lieutenant Commander Ken Martin as the speaker. So line the parade route. It's all on our website, the times and locations. And it means a lot to these men and women. And we are local. We're not affiliated with Wounded Warrior Project. And the hotel rooms are beautiful, but they are not able to donate like they used to because it's been hard times for everybody. But we could use donations at warriorbeachretreat.org mm -hmm. to keep doing these. And this is our 14th year, 14th year, so. 14 years, that's incredible. And Warrior Beach Retreat is the website to go. And I'm going to go over to Angie and Greg Hardy. Now, two Marine Corps veterans, 25 and a half years for wow. Angie, 30 years for Greg. Unbelievable. So, Angie, I'll start with you. Kind of touch on why this retreat is so meaningful and important to you as a veteran? You know, as a veteran, we don't have many organizations out there that is willing to do what Ms. Linda and her organization does. So it means a lot for an individual such as herself to take time out to say thank you for what you've done. Now, Greg, same question to you. Why is it so important to a man like yourself to have an event like this? All right, thank you. Like my wife said, it's um. They treat us like celebrities now. We've been treated like celebrity. We got the, the red carpet treatment and um, just them giving back to us, showing that they appreciate what we've done. So I really appreciate this. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And thank you for your service. I want to really reiterate that again now. Linda, I'll go back over to you. Like you said, you've been doing this for 14 years. It may be an easy question to you, but what keeps bringing you back each and every year to hosting this special retreat? We see the difference in the lives of the men and women that come. They're not the same. When they, from when they arrive and when they leave. They have hope. And life is really tough anyway. But when you're a combat wounded veteran, it's the wounds you don't see that are the toughest. And this is an opportunity for them to, to have a reason to live and know they're not alone and their sacrifice was not in vain. You know, they can truly say, God bless America, because this community makes them know they're not forgotten. And it's the support of this community. And we're Christians and God has given us this vision and we love to see the, the hands and feet of Jesus moving in everybody's hearts to help us do what we do. So we're grateful. Beautifully said, Linda. Now, if you want to come out, show your support. You can, you can, you can again, starting tomorrow, 4 p.m., the parade kicks off here at the Embassy Suites in Panama City Beach. Guys.